Hey everybody! Um, now a while back I came across this product from Disc Socks and uh, I've been meaning to make a video of it. Um, so what it is is uh, basically it helps me organize my DVD collection. Um, I guess the before and after picture will explain it better. So this is what my DVD collection looked like before I used Disc Socks. I have so many DVDs and I don't have enough storage space. They are all over the house. It is ridiculous. Um, so I had needed to find a solution for that and uh, I came across Disc Socks and um, after I basically move everything, move all my collection to disc sock sleeves, I really did uh, manage to save a lot of space and um, organize them. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with, with this product and uh, you can go to their website, this is their address, um, they have stuff, they have lots of stuff for um, DVDs, CDs, games and they have all kinds of accessories for that too. Again, this is their website. Um, so what I bought was um, this one. This is a DVD Pro Sleeves. I think they have sleeves for Blu-ray DVDs also, but because I don't own any Blu-ray DVDs, so I did not buy those. So I don't know what it looks like. I think it's different from the from from this one. This is just the normal DVD sleeves. It came in a pack like this. Um, there are 24 sleeves in one pack. So basically what it is 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 this thin plastic sleeves. Um, it just opens like that. There is a place for you to insert your insert there and then this is for your DVD. There is one and two. So you can fit two DVDs. See it's separated by this black cloth. So you can put two there. You could probably even put four, but it's it's you know two here and two at two at the front and two at the back, but that's really stretching it and I don't really want the DVDs to touch each other. So this fits two. And then this top here you also have space for you to put I don't know receipt or I don't know anything you want to put here but I don't really use this. But there are two space here, this one and also at the back also separated by that black cloth. So basically what you do is you would take your just the normal DVD okay and then um, you would take the insert out and fold it. Now this side here I like to fold it to the front but if you want to fold it to the back side also you can. It, it doesn't matter it's a personal preference I like to fold it to the front and then you take your um, disc socks sleeve and put the back first in here and then the front and that's it. It opens like that. Okay, so as you can see here there is still a lot of space here at the back so like I said if you prefer to put this to, to fold this side to the back you can because there is a lot of space there still and then you would take your DVD you would slide it in there and then if you have some other you know, inserts or whatever with the sin selections and stuff you would insert it here like so. That's it. It's very simple, very easy, and um, basically that's it. Uh, now if you can see I managed to move everything that's inside this case into this very thin sleeve. You can see the difference how thin this is. So all these case, all these DVD cases now I can just throw them away throw them away because I really don't need this bulky case. Everything I need is already in here. So that's it. Even if um you have an insert here that's really thick like this one for example this is like a small booklet. So you can still 
Let's put them in here. And doesn't really add much bulk to it. It's still a very thin sleeve. Now what I like about I like about this feature about this um, insert is because, for example, if you have a DVD like this that when you bought it from the store, this is what you see. You open and this is what you see. But actually, if you take the insert out, you have that scene selection back there. But um, before you don't see that because it's here at the back. You don't see that scene selection. But with the disc sock sleeves, if you put this in the sleeve, like so as you can see, now you can see that scene selection over there. So I, I like that. I really, really like that. Um, now I have um, several DVDs here. For example, this, this DVD set is, is a set of two discs. Okay, so two disc again, um, so you can put one and two here. And now, like I said before, the two DVDs will not touch each other because it's separated with that um, black cloth there. So that's two disc. Now, if you have three disc, um, this is an example of a three disc DVD set. What I did was I really just put one there and then two and three, but I guess if you prefer, you could probably get one of these um, DVD sleeves, plastic or paper like this one, whatever, and put the CD in there first, and then you can put it in here, I guess, if you want to do it that way. Or if you don't mind the CDs to touch each other, you could also put it in there together with the first one. But like I said, this is very, it's quite push it's quite um stretching it to do it that way so I don't do it that way I just and I don't like the CDs to touch each other so uh, I just put them like that uh, example of four disc um, this has four disc now for four disc it will be a little different now on the website they have something they called four disc wallet sleeve Basically what it is, is um, this little thing here. It gives you the ability to add four more discs to that one sleeve. So as you see here, this is one, two, three, and four. But if you ask me, actually, I, I would say you can actually put six in here because this front flap, it has space there too so you can put one more there and one more at the back so you could actually fit six in there but anyway they name it four disc wallet sleeve so for four disc what I did was I put so I don't use this first one I put disc one and disc two there leaving this two and then I put disc three and disc four there and then I put this inside here so and this front goes in there that's it so I have one two three four disc and see how it doesn't add bulk at all now this was the case that came with that set this is a very thick case um, if you want to compare it to that's the normal DVD case that fits one or two two DVDs, and this is this was the case that fits four. See how thick that case is, and after I move everything from this case to disc socks, see how much space I have saved, because now I can just throw this away and I'll I just keep my disc socks sleeves. Now this is an example of five disc. Now for five disc, what I did was I put disc one, two, three, four, and five over there. So this one go that last flap goes in there. 
and then the front goes in there. Basically the same, so there you go. I have five discs. Now, for this one, the case was also the same as this one for four discs. So I did save a lot of space throwing away this case and just keeping it inside my disc side sleeves. But I also have uh, five discs that looks like this. This is my Game of Thrones. This is five disc. Okay, but the case that came originally is this one. This is just the normal DVD case. See, so it's if you compare this, I am still undecided actually whether I want to keep it in my disc sock sleeves or I just keep it in its original case because yes it saves some space there as you can see this is the disc sock sleeve is thinner of course but then um, I don't know if it's worth it if it saves only that much space so I actually have this is my second season um, I still keep it in here because I'm still undecided whether I want to move it or not so that's five disc um, six disc okay this is six disc what I did was that's disc one, two, three, four, five, six, six disc. And this was the case that came with it. It's the same thickness with that other case for four disc and five discs. So, as you can see, I feel that I have saved so much space, and um, I'm going to keep it in this case. Now I don't have an example of 7 disc <laughs> but I do have 8 disc <laughs> 8 disc okay now um, this was its case this is very thick now let me get that case okay this is and this one okay that's do you see the size difference there this is for one disc this is for four or five disc and this is this is the eight disc so it is the thickest it is very very thick and I don't I don't want it because it's very thick now after I move it into my disc socks sleeves look at that see how much space I have saved okay so eight disc the way I did it is hmm, Okay, so like I said, this front flap actually you can put one more disc. So what I did was I put one in there and then two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, so I have six disc in here and then seven and eight. So I have eight disc all together. Now what's tricky is I can put this front here at the front sorry there you go because if I put it there then I can still access the DVD from here I can still take it out like that but I cannot put um, this back in there because if I do that then I won't be able to access this and I won't be able to see that there is actually DVD in there so it is a little pushing pushing it I think because it's it would fall down actually if you don't um, if you just close it and it's it doesn't really stay in place but anyway eight disc so so that's eight disc um, if you have that's actually the most DVD I have in a set um, but I also have DVDs that came, um, not very many, but I have some that came in a very thin DVD case like this. It's probably an older case, uh, I don't know. So it's basically the same concept. You can just, you know, take the sleeve out and fold it to the front if you like to fold it to the front. And then you would put it in here. It's the same thing. Nothing's different. So just to show you that, but then you will see that 
there is a lot of space left over here and also at the back because the insert is quite thin. Um, I also have several DVD several DVDs that um, I think it's really really an older type DVD case that um, the case it the hard case itself is only at the back now unfortunately I've thrown that away so I can't really show it here the hard case is only at the back and there is no hard case at the front so this front is this is this is a very thick cardboard so this was the front um, cover. Um, I hope you understand what I'm, what I'm trying to say here. So there are DVDs that like this, um, either the, the the normal size or the the thinner size. Yeah. So for these types, um, you can use disc sock sleeves too, um, but it is it is just a little tricky to put it inside because what you have to do is you have to fold it like this. So this is the insert. You have to fold it like this and then you have to put it in the insert at the same time when you put it at the back and the back and at the front. You have to put them at the same time because otherwise it won't work because um, of the thickness of the oh, see this work thickness of the the cardboard. Okay, so sorry, what am I doing? Oh, here you go. Okay, so there you go. You see, I'm trying to put them at the same time the back and the front, so I just push it inside at the same time. And there you go. But for this one, um, I have no choice but the side have to go at the back like this. I cannot put this, I cannot fold this to the front because there's no, there's not much space at the front. So it's a little tricky to get it in, but it works for that kind of DVD case too. Um, I also use these sleeves for my uh, Xbox collection. I have several others, so it keeps everything in there too. Because, you know, I think it fits fine. Um, and I also bought several accessories from the website. Uh, this is the dividers. Oh, there you go. It's 24 alphabetical or blank DVD Pro dividers. So, it comes in a pack like this. It's from A to Z. You don't see my A to E because I've used it. <laughs> now... This really is just uh, it's a it's a thick plastic. Don't know what it's called. So it's alphabetical at the top, and then um, at the bottom it's empty. It came with this um, stickers. They are if you see some that's blank like this one. It's because I've used it. Uh, yeah, so you can take a sticker and then just stick it there and then that will be your dividers. So I bought that. And then I also bought this um, travel case. It's, it's just, it's a very simple case. Um, it's really just Velcro closure and it's just like that. And what you do is you just put the, your disc saw sleeves in there just like that you know, nothing fancy just put them in and close it and that's it basically um, it fits 10 comfortably uh, you can fit more I guess 12 14 you can because this is expandable but um, I guess comfortably you can fit 10 for me so that's the um, travel case and I actually also bought their CD pro sleeves but I haven't get a chance to use this um, I haven't even opened this so uh, 
I, I will, but um, right now I just haven't had a chance to move all my CDs to these sleeves. I also bought the CD Pro dividers. Now you should know that the CD, the sleeve for CD is different in size with the sleeve for DVD as you see right there. So the sleeve for CD is um, not as tall and not as wide. So that's for DVD and this is for CD. Now uh, let me show you, this is all my DVD collection now. Um, those two boxes there. Uh, now as you can see, those are everything I have. So I love it that they are now all organized because before they are just all over the place. But now, as you see here, I have organized them um, alphabetical based on the titles. Now these three at the back are my uh, Lord of the Rings special collector's edition so I just I like to keep them in their case like that. Uh, so these are all just general movies and then on the second box I have um, special movies <laughs> I guess uh, because I organize them based on um, like this one I have some children's stuff so I don't mix them with the other movies. I have some animation movies that um, I separate also so I arrange this alphabetical also but I just put animation and then I have my series uh, religious and music um, yeah so everything's there so I love it that now everything is well organized and they're not um, all over the house anymore um, okay so basically that is my review of the disc socks sleeves thank you for watching